Morning, Paul. Uh, what's your top priority going into the off season? Uh, we'll work in stages now. We do a, a real hard review over the next couple of weeks with the coaching staff. Look at uh, the development camp, things of that nature. You had a few new guys on your staff this year. How would you assess the job that your assistants did this year? Uh, Jamie brought a wealth of experience. Um, Stanley Cup rings with him and has really worked with a large spectrum of players and styles so it was interesting uh, his take on a lot of things. Real positive, real hard working guy. Todd moved very hard and, and we saw incremental improvement in the face off area and a lot of the skills. It's kind of a new piece that we haven't had before. Um, so it was, it's like any, any team that you put together when you have new personalities and new uh, Perspectives on the game that come in, you, uh, you you end up morphing and changing over the course of the year. What you're good at, assignments, roles. So we did a lot of moving people around here this year in terms of uh, what we wanted to cover. I really enjoyed working with them. It was a good experience. How about uh, Charlie and Wade specifically as well? Uh, Charlie uh, runs that back end and and had a lot of moving parts back there the whole year, especially toward the end of it. Um, the players that would be true of our team, we take a look at the younger players coming in and how they're handled, how they're developed. Josh had just a brilliant, brilliant first year, and uh, Jake Truba had, in my mind, that breakthrough year that we would, uh, I think, all knew would come, but uh, really pleased with how those young players are playing. Uh, Wade had a, had a challenge there in, in terms of the pressure that we put on our goaltenders every night and, and uh, building that confidence, but more importantly, working on the specifics of games with uh, other young goalies or goalies with a lot of experience in there. So um, I like the improvement, I like the direction. Thank you. Well, what's your assessment of uh, what's missing and maybe what needs to happen over the summer? My assessment is that in all areas of our game, we've got players that we believe can improve and develop into really good NHL hockey players. So what's needed first is that development by those players in each of those positions. What, what, what you can do over the course of the summer, um, every year is different. The expansion draft or will have an impact on player movement. But again, as I said, I like a lot of the players that we have in position. I think they're going to develop into some of them stars, some of them A players, and I think they're on track to do that. What are your team this year? So two years ago, I think we were at about 500 or so games played by players under 25. Last year, it would have gone to about 780, and this year, we're over 900. I think that number levels off for our team soon. I, I, I don't. I don't see four rookies making our team again this year at the start of the year. So we'll be better. We'll be better in all areas. It'll be incremental. We, uh, we have areas that we have to improve that aren't going to come easily. Um, we'll get better. There were a lot of question marks about the youth coming in. And, and given how some of them played, the goals they scored, the couple of defensemen, Blake Wheeler yesterday called it a, a feels like a bit of a wasted year looking back and how, how, well, yeah. was, how do you respond to that? So Blake's at an age and probably that all of you will understand as you get a little older. When you have a year where you don't achieve what you want to achieve and you know you only get so many of them, it feels like you burned a year of your career. Um, the idea of slowly going through this process and doing it in pieces, maybe being a little bit better this year at the uh, sacrifice of developing young players wasn't the plan. So draft, develop, there's going to be some pain in that. We're going through that right now. Probably 12 guys fairly regular on our roster that were young, young men. And those guys will improve more than our veteran players and they will become. So we'll just take the three players that I think transition out of me talking about them as young players and Shifley, Lowry, and Truba. They've made huge improvements over those years in a short period of time to become drivers. And as we add more drivers internally, we will, we will come a point in time where you're not wasting years, you're hitting your stride. Or does your Jets 
fans be confident that you're the one to turn this around? It doesn't need to be turned around. It's already headed in the right direction. This is by far uh, the youngest, but also the team with most <coughs> opportunity, I think, that I've ever coached, clearly. The good young players that are going to get better. Take the 10 or 12 young players that, that I've had here and I've had a Calder Cup winner as well in the past. They're developing well, they're playing well, and they're going to get better. So, how close is this team? What should it look like next year? It's going to look an awful lot like this team, but five months older. What does that mean? Things will be better at the end of the season following than we start. We'll be a good team. Will we be a great team? All depends on how far we can push them, how far we can get them, of course. With just one year under contract? Yeah, completely comfortable. I've done it four, maybe five times. It's all always worked out really well. Um, I'm going to do whatever they ask me to do with that. I don't think about it a whole lot. I've never had in my career. Every contract I've ever done took about 10 minutes. I don't think about it a whole lot. Got a, got a year left to, you know, on this contract, and however they want me to approach it, I'll be fine with it. Just based on one of the questions earlier about uh, Blake, I guess, feeling maybe a year was burnt off his career. As these guys continue, to, or the young guys continue to play bigger roles, get bigger responsibility, I imagine become the new core of the Winnipeg Jets. Is there any talking to the Brian Littles, the Blake Wheelers, the, the older veterans to continue kind of helping that role, knowing that theirs is going to be decreasing and maybe some of them might not be Winnipeg Jets just given the structure of salary caps? Well, I had a conversation with the captains and, and Brian and Blake uh, in the summer and when we got back and told them exactly what this was going to happen this year. We're taking these kids, we're putting them in and we're going to play them. And it's going to be a little painful at times with our game. <laughs> If we do this slowly, what you said could happen. If we wait three or four years to put to, to get young, to build that core, by the time they would have gotten to, to greatness. Uh, and so I'm, all, I'm not just talking about Patty Liney and Nick Ehlers. Those guys you can fit in, right? You can find them. Maybe they're playing on the third line if you've got a bunch of other veterans in your lineup. But they're not. I mean, look at the bottom six of our hockey club, and, and they're all very, very young as well. Penalty killing has five of six forwards that are extremely young toward the end of the year. They're going to get better at that. So we paid for it a little bit, I think, in the last two years by design. So that the Blake Wheeler in his prime has an opportunity to play with young players who then have enough experience that he can enjoy and be a big part of being great with them. So I would look at Connor like our hockey team, like, like the whole group. There are lots of games that you really liked and you saw that you saw into the future. Not that he's gonna play better, but there'll be a bigger number of those games, right? And just fewer on the far end, and that's how those guys go from once he had 25, 26 wins, he gets into that 30 range, the low 30s, which is where some elite guys are sitting, and then there's the 40s for sure. What I think was most important, I believe that with our team, the idea that everything would go smoothly this year wouldn't necessarily have made us better. So what he went through this year, dealing with the adversity of the year, dealing with the bumps and his confidence, some nights we played really well in front of him, some nights we didn't give our goaltenders much of a chance. That's a fact. He's gonna learn how to fight now, learn how to compete a little harder. And, and that may be the most important piece that young players need to, to learn, is learning to fight through an 82 game schedule for goal is understand it's less learning how to grind through that and the mental grind of it. To get to be great, those guys pass through that. They go through it. They have their tough nights. They, they get pulled up. They have to fight for their confidence on their own. He had to do all of that this year. Saw progress in his game. He's got a lot, a lot of room to, to keep getting better, which is true of all of these kids. There's lots of room for him to get better. I, I believe in him. I believe in his talent level and his compete level that he's going to continue to get better.